Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. And today in the Bible Bistro, we're going to look at verse verses 9 and 10 in Psalm 33. Hey, listen, if you have a moment, go out to uh, our website. The Bible Bistro has its own stopping spot on the Internet, and that is my-dailydose.com. My-dailydose.com. You just go there and you'll find all things Bible Bistro. And it's all good for you, just like Daily Dose Radio is. Well, we're looking today at verses 9 and 10. Let me read those for us. For he spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the heathen to naught. He makes the devices of the people of none effect. So again, we have these statements about the Lord. We're building this theology, in a sense, or the psalmist is, for us of God. And he begins with his creative power. And really, that continues right here into verse 9. You notice it says, he spake and it was done. Well, what did he speak? Well, you go back up here to verse 6. And it says, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. So he spake that into existence. The waters of the sea gathered together as a heap. He spake that into existence. The the deep in storehouses, he probably spoke that into existence as well. He spoke and it was done. And and it's so simple. this, This verse is so direct. There's no beating around the bush. This is what God did. This is the creative moment. He spoke, and it was done. It happened just like that. God willed it. He spoke it. Bam. There it is. He commanded, and it stood fast. So the Lord gave a command, a boundary to the sea. He gave a boundary to the land. He told the mountains how high to rise. He commanded all those things. And we could go on and on with that. He commanded all those things, and... It happened, and they stood fast. That, that is, it's, as you look at it right now, what you see right now is what he commanded because it stood fast. It's not changed. It's not going to change either because it's still standing fast at the word of God. He spake, and it was done. He commanded. It stood fast. It's eternal. It's lasting until he decides it's not lasting anymore, until he's finished his program. Until it's all accomplished, then the Lord's going to remake everything. It's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. The Lord brings the counsel of the heathen to naught. So, if this God who made all things by the word of his mouth, the breath of his mouth, the word of the Lord, if this God can do that, what can he do about those who mock him? Go back to Psalm 2. The heathen rage. And the kings imagine a vain thing. Yeah, and they counsel together to throw off his bonds. And the Lord, you know, looks down and he laughs at them from the heavens. The Lord brings the counsel of the heathen, the heathen to naught. He knows what they want to do. And he knows that, he, that they want to do it against the church. They want to do it against the people that have found refuge in this great God. Why? Because they can't go to the heavens and get him. They can't attack him there, so they have to attack his representatives here on the earth. It's another reason why abortion is such a problem today. Because men of low degree are attacking the image of God on the earth. Whether they know that's what they're doing or not, that's behind all their actions when it comes to abortion. So the Lord brings the counsel of the heathen to naught, and he makes the devices of the people of none effect. Just like he did at the Tower of Babel, they thought they could build a tower all the way up to the heavens so that they could reach God. But he said, no, I don't think you're going to do that. And all those devices, all that work, all that labor, all that engineering, all that design, the Lord just said, nope, it's not going to happen. And guess what? It didn't happen. He makes the devices of the people of none effect. Well, I hope you'll join me tomorrow. We're going to conclude uh, this first half of Psalm 33 tomorrow as we look at verses 11 and 12. So join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.